today. Um, it's been reported that draft rules are being considered that would create national um, uniformity for immigration judges to allow child immigrants to more time to obtain legal representation. And in light of the Ninth Circuit's decision or opinion this week, I think these rules would be a highly welcome step towards ensuring fair treatment for the most vulnerable individuals who are seeking refuge um, across our borders. Um, so I wondered if you could share with the committee your office's involvement in the discussions on those rules, if any, and as the agency that's responsible for carrying out removals um, following legal proceedings, do you have any comment on this issue? Those rules you're talking about would bind the immigration courts, and those come under the Department of Justice, um, not the Department of Homeland Security. The immigration courts are under the Department of Justice. I am sure at some point, if they're being under uh, considered now, that we may well be consulted. Uh, quite frankly, I may not wait to be consulted. We may reach out and see if, if we can have some input, but uh, uh, that would be a decision by the Department of Justice and ultimately by the courts as to whether it's sufficient. Well, in a concurring opinion in the Ninth Circuit case, two judges, one a Republican appointee and one a Democratic appointee, came together and they said, quote, what is missing here? money and resolve, political so solutions that fall outside the purview of the courts, end quote. So in other words, um, what is missing here is congressional action and the political will to ensure that young children fleeing violence are not facing the complexities of our immigration procedures alone. Um, the law requires fair hearings, and I would say that three-year-olds who are alone before judges is not fair. Um, so, Director, I was, what do you think is needed to help ensure that we're treating children who come to our immigration judges in a manner that reflects at least the most basic notions of justice and due process? What do you think we should be doing to make sure that we are t making sure those children's rights well, are protected? Yeah, Sarah, it, it, this is, uh, you know, I've been, I just two weeks ago was in uh, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, and uh, I saw and met uh, several of those children, uh, families, mothers, children, uh, uh, adult men. Uh, it's, a, it's an important, significant issue. I'm glad to hear that there are some rules that are being considered. I would like, uh, uh, I agree with you that a three-year-old cannot uh, be expected to know uh, what their rights and privileges are, but um, Again, it is, we will reach out to see if we can be consulted about this, but in the end, it is the Department of Justice, and I know that that's my old department, so I know that they will take good care of uh, promulgating something fair and correct. Do you think that Congress has a role to play on this issue? Um, you know, I've been preaching. So what would you recommend? I've, I've, I've been preaching since I almost the day I arrived that we need comprehensive immigration reform. We can't just be dealing with one issue or the other everything, and, and this should be towards the top of the list, how children's rights are vindicated and represented, um, uh, should be a part of a comprehensive immigration reform package, I believe. And I just wanna highlight that um, over 7,000 children have been deported um, who have come from Central America, largely due to notification problems, lack of representation, difficulties navigating the process, and so we've impacted many, many children al already. Um, does getting this right have an impact on the ability of ICE to properly carry out its mission? Uh, sure. I just want to be sure that I'm clear on this. You know, our whole involvement with unaccompanied children is to uh, process their entry into the country and then turn them over to the Department of Health and Human Services who looks after their uh, needs and where they are while their cases are being heard. So uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a fairly minor role with respect to children, but obviously we have concerns and a heart and we believe that uh, we need to have their uh, issues uh, treated differently and sensitively because of their age. But we, we have very little involvement with, the, um, with, with children, underage children. Again, the, the law requires fair hearings. I want to make sure that we have fair hearings for young children who are seeking refuge across our borders. So um, thank you, and my time's expired. I yield back, Mr. Chair.